Hello and welcome to 5 minutes tutorial on RF Pro. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to perform RFIC amplifier analysis using RF Pro. After our EM simulation, we will perform circuit EM co simulation using Golden Gate simulator inside Virtuoso. Before we start, remember 1, 2, 3, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic. Now to go over this video, I do have this LNA design, which I would like to perform EM simulation and then perform the circuit analysis. As we spoke about in the last few videos, you can activate the RF Pro menu by going to RF launch and then plugins on RF Pro. Now once you have the menu, you can go ahead and create a new RF Pro view. And in this case, I will name it RF Pro underscore demo. Now, once we do that, the first thing it will ask is about the stack up, which we would like to use for our EM analysis in the RF Pro window. And I already have covered all this in the previous video. So here I will use the LTD file, which I have for this particular process. Now, once the design database is loaded in RF Pro, we have a choice to perform either a full EM which we would do in this particular case, or we could perform selective EM analysis using user defined. But I will reserve that topic for the future tutorial. Now for the full EM analysis, there are a couple of key decisions which we need to make. In terms of components, you can see all the components in your design is loaded here. The first decision we need to take is which components we do not want to EM simulate. So in this particular design, I do have bias in core, which we would not like to EM simulate, rather use their circuit view. Now in order to do so, I can simply select them, right click and change the component role to circuit. Now by doing so, uh, the instances here, you can see becomes hierarchical. Now inside this hierarchy, you have the complete pin connections detail available. Now in order to use them, for our final EM subkit co-simulation view, I need to add them into our analysis and the component model. So I will simply drag and drop them over to component model. Now all the pins which we have placed in our designs are available here, and these pins are used for external connections. And we would like to create our simulation port on these pins. So we can simply select the pin, drag and drop to ports, and now we do have ports created at all the pin locations. The pins needed for the circuits will be automatically handled by RF Pro when it removes these components for the circuit view. And here you can see all the location where the pins will be created for the eventual stitching of EM model along with the circuit view. Now with this two created, we can go ahead to options, define the frequency sweep range, which we would like to perform and then select the simulator to be either momentum or FEM as per your selection. Now, once it is done, you can go ahead and run the simulation. Now, because the simulation will take few minutes on my laptop, I already have an RF Pro design, which is simulated exactly for the same circuit. Now, after the simulation is done, you can open this parameter plot and just make sure that data which you want is available here. And as you can see, I do have some relevant data of S parameter. At this point, if you would like to probe uh, between you know, a few specific nodes, and if you want to see the inductance or the capacitance between the nodes, you can always do so by making a selection. And it's very easy. All the post-processing will be handled by RF Pro. You do not need to enter any equations or any kind of derivations on in order to extract the information. Now, once the simulation is complete, we have the necessary EM simulation result. We can go ahead and generate a sub-circuit for our design. Now, when we create a sub-circuit, we can, of course, create a new cell view or we can create an existing cell. So here, I'm going to create a view in existing cell. Now, the nomenclature rule used by RF Pro to create an existing cell or the schematic view will be schematic, which will always be used and then uh, all EM underscore demo. And here you can see the equivalent schematic which RF Pro has created. Now in this view, you have this parameter data, which is produced by our EM simulation. 
and you can see it has a lot of ports because a lot of these pins also are connection points to these schematic components and everything is nicely connected with each other as required to form the complete EM circuit co simulation. Now using this view, we can go to hierarchy editor in the simulator to go ahead and run the desired simulation using Golden Gate Simulator. Now Golden Gate Simulator has a lot of different type of analysis. In this case, I'm only using a simple S parameter run and I will plot S11 and S2, S21. Now first view I'm going to use is a native schematic design view. And we go ahead and run the simulation so that we have the baseline result for our circuit design. Once the simulation is complete, we would be able to see the plots of S21 and S11 for our design. Now after that simulation is complete, we will go ahead. So here you can see you have the plot for this circuit design. Now as we already have the EM circuit co-simulation view, I will change the view to schematic all EM demo, which we just created based on the RF Pro simulation. And here we will go ahead and append the results so that we can compare the results between the native schematic design and our EM circuit co-simulation. And in a few seconds, you would be able to see uh, the differences caused due to the EM parasitics of your layout. And if in case the results are too different, you can go and figure out how to fix your design. Now here you can see the results between uh, result comparison of the circuit design, which had a higher gain, and due to the EM parasitics, your gain has dropped, whereas the S11 is pretty, pretty good so in both the cases. So you can see how seamless it is to set up uh, RF Pro analysis for your circuit designs, and you can partition the things very seamlessly. After the simulation, you can create the view, and then finally, perform the simulation using Golden Gate, all inside Virtuoso without you having to worry to learn a new tool inside a new platform. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content presented and it will be pretty useful for your design. Best of luck and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on RF Pro.